What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, we've kind of noticed something. We don't know when it really happened, but if you guys frequent and pay attention to the Star Gem Mall, well, something has popped up and has a much lower timer. They finally listened, or at least they're listening. Soul Hammers are much more abundant now. The limit has gone up to 30 from 20, uh, and on top of that, I mean, you can... Get them every week, it looks like, because all of these are on, like, a monthly timer. This one's on a ridiculously long timer. I don't know why. Uh, but this one seems to be on a one-week reschedule. So if you guys are been, like, just, like me, killing, like, just really, really wanting to do a bunch of hammer slams to see if you get better copies of your heroes this is your time and just remember you can use contract starry gems for this as well so what we're gonna do we're gonna try to get some of this done today try to re-roll some copies let's see what we can do <laughs> So we have the resources, let's go ahead. Um, oh my God, they didn't change this though. You literally have to go through and I think you have to individually purchase every single one of these. I think I did the calculations right and we have enough. It looks like it. Oh my God, this is so stupid. I don't know why there isn't a spot here to pick how many times you wanna purchase something because this right here is just stupid, stupid, stupid. Wait, wait, do we have enough? We just have enough. All right, so we have a grand total of 33 hammers. So let's get to smashing and see if we can get better hero copies um, on our giant killers. Because like even this one, Islamox, is really good. I don't see a reason to try to go for a different one on Doom Terminator Vulcan. I really like how it looks. Star Swordsman and Mockman, again, I still kind of really like this copy here. So I think what we're going to try to do is continue re-rolling the Lord of Fear Aspen. If we can get to fire on him, that does give us some more variability some more strategy that we can do so let's see if we can find something better for our lord of fear aspen um of course is going to have to have giant killer though that is the most important one uh block chance damage dot received i don't like that i like the crit chance too on it if the only way i'd take it without crit oh that was close with control precision too man that was really good uh we need a very offensive copy and if we don't get it man that would be a awesome tanky copy though that would be really, really cool. If only we had, oh, wait a minute, hold on. I just I just realized something. What else? I thought I totally forgot we have one other hero on this list. And that is our queen. Now, did we get Sea Land 30 done in Abyss? We did. So in reality, this queen copy probably isn't super amazing. I mean, it does have divine block, which is pretty cool. Uh, we could go for things like, you know, silence immunity and stuff like that. So that if we wanted to run her differently in star expedition would be good but i really want to keep going and try to get like a super amazing lord of your aspen copy if possible i just gonna make sure i don't make a mistake and hit save when i don't want to again i think i still like the crit chance the best because right now we're sitting at like 100 percent. really really like that i think we're gonna try to keep that again unless we get something really good I think the control immunity offset, I still like this copy better. Come on, let's find something good. We have a lot of hammers at our disposal and we need giant killer. I really want to see giant killer to fire crit. That is, oh, giant killer to fire block. I don't like the block, but the defire is really, really spicy dealing extra damage when targets HP is 70% or above. Deals 30% more damage. That could allow us to do or be more flexible with Star Expedition. But we are losing control immunity offset and crit chance for Defire. And is Defire really that much worth it? I kind of like it, but I kind of want a better copy. This is a real. Honestly, if that block was some sort of offensive stat. Or control immunity offset, I think I'd be happier. Granted, block is really good with hyperspace hunter Isla Mock. I think we're gonna save it, but we're gonna keep looking for a better copy still. I still wanna find something even better than this one, if possible. Hopefully it is. Uh, but it's nice having Defire on the copy as well. 
Not really wanting any of these. Uh, we're down to 15. Come on. If it doesn't say <laughs> giant killer, it's literally useless to us right now because we need that giant killer damage. And in reality, if we do take a look at the hero, the main reason why Defire is helpful is because the deep sublimation, the trigger of the uh, the Demon King is what? Uh, oh, wait. What's up here? Yeah, yeah. It, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like the fire copy is probably better. Please just give me something good. Give me, like, crit chance, giant killer, the fire. If only faction rule actually worked, that would be amazing. But faction rule only works for the regular faction heroes. That's close to being good. Not good. We haven't seen too many giant killers here. Giant killer. Oh, this is almost the same exact copy we originally started with, except with skill damage. No, we're not going to do that. I w oh, precision and control. Pre no, no, no. We got two more to go. Come on. Giant killer, defire, and offensive stat. Get rid of this block for me. No. All right. So we did like what? 33 of them. I'm kind of happy with the copy though at this point. I do like seeing defire on a lot more of these heroes. Um, mainly because it procs on his a lot more than others. <sighs> I guess we'll be happy with it. But what that does mean, if you are a spender in the game at some point, so you can do, what, 30 of these every single week now, which, again, 30 times 25 is 750 starry gems, whatever types you want to talk about. Um, so that's essentially saying 750 is what? 4, 5, 6, 7, 20. Um, so you can get away with spending like what 35 a week if you want to just specifically buy those out uh or or a, a big big or right here is if you are doing the soul contract that means these soul contract ge sorry gems or contract gems right here are enough to actually buy that out so that's interesting it's definitely interesting but i don't think the average player should do it and i don't think rolling like regular copies is that big of a deal like most of these they're mainly here just for the stats yes the secondary roll can be helpful but it's not like you can re-roll attack or something like that on these they're all secondary abilities so it's not like it's that big of a deal so it is what it is the only thing i really 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 want to get is a hyperspace hunter isla mock but i just don't see us being able to afford one of those in the near future like at all isla mocks are well well, that's kind of cheap. Ooh, ooh, I like that. But that's so cheap. Well, I mean, it could bid for that. Opening up donations, guys. <laughs> I actually heard MK got a big donation of Starry Gems the other day, which is really cool. If you guys feel like donating to help provide more content for the channel and maybe go all in on a giant killer copy of Isla Mach, even if it is like a B-plus roll, uh, the giant killer is the important part because he's dealing double damage. It would be really cool to see what type of damage this hero could do. Because, you know, at the end of the day, his last sublimation here, uh, blocking does counterattacks. He hits a ton of times. So giant killer could be very strong, especially since you can run him as a support hero with your Aspen or Vesa. And it could be good, so... Hey, I, I'll, I'll say it. I'm open for donations if anybody sells a really cool copy and wants to help us afford this man right here. I'm open to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.